Oh, my mom tells this story uh, that when I was five, I'm sitting there, I've got her guitar, and I say, <laughs> I'm like, Mom, I think God's calling me to be a musician, to be a, a, a minister, a pastor, or something like that. And I launch into just hammering away on this guitar. I don't know any chords or anything, and I'm singing Dead Skunk in the Middle of the Road. Who told you? I started the first band that I was in when I was 18 years old. There was something that tied authenticity to spirituality for me at that point. And so if there was something that was authentic in genre, authentic in form, authentic in what it was trying to get across, then that became, that became spiritual to me. I toured with the music ministry from 2008 to 2009. Saw God in a real way. And, and I struggled with this sense of the Bible says this about God and that's not what I've seen in church, it's not what I see in American Christianity. I just saw a different way of approaching all this and it wasn't a words based, uh, but it wasn't just actions based either. There was something else, there was some other d genuine concern and maybe you could call it love. I got back from Honduras, summer 2009, had all of these things to process. I'd been on the road nonstop for a year and uh, I just crashed. But, I, but the trouble is I couldn't sleep. Just trying to re recollect and figure out what on earth was going on in my life. And there was this girl and uh, we started dating a month later and 10 months later we got engaged and, and uh, now we're married. Meeting Leslie was something that just kind of catalyzed uh, a, a drive to do something and to be somewhere. Um, in, some, in every sense of the word, not just physically but also in a mental place and a spiritual place to actually be somewhere. I started thinking about master's programs. What would be a program that would allow me to explore all these different things, but also the avenue of music and art. And a Google search popped up Fuller with the Brem Center and I did a little exploration. I told Leslie about it, she read a little bit. She's like, yeah, I think, I think you should go there. She's Canadian, so we thought we had to do an immigration, like to, do, to immigrate her, we had to leave the US and come back. And we got stuck there. And while we're stuck there, we got an email from uh, one of my good friends and we went to this place where they were living and it was unbelievably weird. These were our friends, these people I trust, so we hung out and they were like, oh, stay for our gathering. We're having our little cell group gathering on Sunday morning. They claimed we have the Jesus. And it was um, the worst experience I've ever had in my life to be a part of that service. They were very anti, uh, they were anti-authority, anti-intellectual, anti-lots of things. And I was sitting there going, man, this is so, this is, isn't right, like this is so, this is not biblical, this isn't, this isn't godly, this isn't Christian, and how do I know the difference? These people used all the right Christian language. They sounded so orthodox when they said, but what they meant was entirely different. And I didn't have any sort of framework in how to identify that this wasn't the same um, beyond intuition. And so that was a huge catalyst for me to come to full. When I said, yes, I'm going, that was what was in the back of my mind. I can't tell you why what this experience was was wrong, but I want to learn how. So I, I've been at Fuller now for a year and a half. I had this idea of, of believable lies what is a believable lie?
the thesis again about beliefs and theory of a believable lie and how lies create a negative reality and how when we allow beliefs to become the authority for our life and actions, we open ourselves up to, to lies, to accepting lies and creating a reality out of those lies. This thesis will be performed at Art Ventures Night at Fuller Seminary, Travis Auditorium. Uh, Art Ventures is the Brem Center's master's thesis capstone cohort presentation, uh, which essentially is where people who are graduating with their master's degree present their projects. So this album is just working within that whole framework of lies and beliefs. So the album is really me critiquing myself. And every, every lyric is really open to question. Like, I'm not sure about everything I'm writing, because everything that I'm writing is a little bit like, well, is that just a belief, or is that, is that truth? Is that reality? I mean, what do you think? That's really fundamental to what I'm trying to say is that you don't have to be right. Being right is that's that's the beginning of sin. That's the whole Adam and Eve in the garden. We're going to eat this fruit because we want to have all of this knowledge that God does. We want to know if we're right. <laughs> and there it is. I mean, there's the beginning of it. And so while we chase being right and confuse it with righteousness that comes by grace, that's a that's the problem. You know, and that's what I want to address. I want to address this whole thing. So I want you to listen to the, the album and go, man, is he right? And then I want you at the end to go, it doesn't matter. Like it's not a, it's not a question of right or wrong. That's that's operating in a framework and paradigm that depends on my own rightness, and it, it can't. That's the whole idea of grace.